I'm all for female empowerment, female unity. Bitches, though, I don't give a fuck about a bitch, okay? You be on IG, I'm thick, you sick, damn, you need an IV Show me your ID, cause I don't know you chicks You scared the heights, you know to jump off my Has anyone seen Queen Kaya? Anybody at all? I'm seriously starting to become a little bit concerned And this is, I'm not even being funny or I'm not, it's not a joke But, um, the last time I saw her she was down at BWI Airport. In case y'all don't know where that is. That's in Baltimore, Maryland. And then she said she unplugged sometime. But since then, I haven't seen her. No, actually, I'm telling a lie. She came back after that. And she was talking about Nikki being her biggest fan. And how Nikki was copying everything that she was doing. Yeah. Yeah, they, they did. I mean, the streets do be talking. They do be saying that Nikki be trying to stop bags and stuff. I've been hearing about that for a long time. So, that's one reason why I need to be concerned. All right. Second thing. Now, I don't want y'all thinking just because I'm the CEO of the Maddie Mob that I'm not going to be concerned about a fellow sister. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, she is a woman and a mother. So, I, I am concerned about her well-being and where she is. So then after she uh she was saying Nikki had copied her video, wanted to be just like her. I, I'm in agreement with her with that part. I ain't, I ain't going to lie to y'all. Even though I'm, you know, a little biased, you know, when it comes to T.S. Madison, I'm going to be a little bit honest with y'all. Nikki was copying Kaya. Okay. So then everything, all the ruffles and stuff in the streets has settled down. Like, wasn't nobody really arguing back and forth with each other. It wasn't no drama going on. You know... Everybody was just doing their own thing. You know what I'm saying? Doing hosting their own little shows or whatever. They really wasn't bringing up nobody's name. It wasn't no cussing back and forth. None of that was going on. Right? So then, this particular, uh, she says she's a well-known blogger in Atlanta, but she wasn't born there. Um, so anyway, straight from hell, she decides she wants to pull up at this lady's place of employment. And some people found that to be funny. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't think that shit was funny at all. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to be on no team to know right is right and wrong is fucking wrong. You don't go to nobody's fucking job asking questions. Asking, oh, is she here? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Sitting there gossiping with the bartender named Sunshine, which I'm assuming is fire by now. I mean, I don't know. I can't guarantee that. But I, I believe she's probably fired by now. Anyway. So I was like, okay, after Queen Kaya sees this foolishness of these people rolling up at her place of employment, you know what I'm saying? Or at least where she goes to do her shows at on Monday, I thought she is going to motherfucking blow a hurricane all through motherfucking Atlanta. And up to now, there has been no sightings of Kaya. And then I'm wondering where the hell is Team Kaya at? You know what I'm saying? Team Kaya just sitting back. Maybe they just think that this shit is just so ridiculous that they're not paying it no mind. I don't know. But days and days have gone by and still no Kaya. So I'm like, hold on. At this point, we might need to be concerned because it could be Nikki. She might got some of her little goons or something like that after Kaya. I don't know. But then again, she had two people coming to her place of employment asking questions, asking about if she working, when she working, who she work with. And stuff like that. So, I mean, sometimes people find stuff like that funny. But if something happens to the person, you know what I mean, in real life, the police going to be looking at you. They not going to be laughing. You know what I'm saying? And kick in. Because <laughs> that shit wasn't funny. You know what I mean? So, anyway, all I do know is if that shit happen with my folks, you know what I'm saying? If that shit happen with my sis, it would be going something like... Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Plane, bus, train, car. You know what I'm saying? I had to go out there and see what in the world is going on. You know what I mean? But in all seriousness, I am offering a reward. I can't offer much because, again, the streets have been talking. They say I'm disabled. I'm on Section 8. So what I'm going to offer is $5 in EBC. I'm going to offer one book of WIC checks. Um, 
you can get your infamil or your similac or whatever you can get your milk your cheese your tuna fish with it and then i'm also going to include a free application of section eight so that you know one lucky person can go ahead and win a place to live you know what i mean but anyway if y'all have any sightings of queen kaya can y'all please leave that in my comment section i just want to know that she's okay with all of this stuff going on i am concerned genuinely i really am um you know people say that i don't care enough about women and that i only care about men's you know what i mean i'm only concerned about you know transgenders and stuff like that and i'm going to hell but you know i am concerned i mean i'm seriously concerned i've never seen kaya be gone this long and then i've never seen her someone pull some stuff like they did and kaya not come back with a clap back and a smack back and all that kind of stuff you know what i'm saying because when she does come back which i believe she's coming back whoo i don't know i'm hot underneath my bed because i think the way she's gonna light up somebody's ass hmm, i don't think it's gonna be too too funny it ain't gonna be too uh you know what i mean i don't blame her either so when the shit happened I already know we're straight from the hell going to do. Oh, my goodness. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Captain save a hoe. Please help me. Oh, my God. I'm a victim. I just been minding my business. All I do is talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't bother nobody. Oh, but you didn't forget how you were talking about you was in your jogging, sweatsuit, Vaseline. You had your tennis shoes on. You was ready to rumble in the jungle. Keep that same energy when Kaya come back. I'm putting out a bolo. You know what I'm saying? We got to find Queen Kaya. Somebody, anybody. Feed me some information, all right? I'll see y'all in my next video. Love you all.